I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on limits. Now here is an excellent question from my student who wants to understand how to find limit of the given function, which is limit x approaches 0 for square root of x plus 1 minus square root of 2x plus 1 divided by square root of 3x plus 4 minus square root of 2x plus 4. Now in this particular question, if I substitute 0 for x, what do I get? Let's check that. So we get 0 plus 1 square root minus, that makes this also 0, 0 plus 1 square root over 0 plus 4 square root minus 0 plus 4 square root. So we get a form which is 0 over 0. Now that is indeterminate. You cannot determine the value of this 0 by 0 expression. Now in such cases, we may have a limit, we may not have a limit, right? So both are possible. Now how do we solve such questions? The strategy here is to rationalize, right? So the strategy here is to rationalize. The unique thing about this particular question is that we have to rationalize both numerator and denominator, right? So here, is an example we need to rationalize both numerator and denominator right now let us see what it really means and how to do it so we are given the question limit x approaches 0, square root of x plus 1 minus square root of 2x plus 1 divided by square root of 3x plus 4 minus square root of 2x plus 4. To rationalize numerator, I have to multiply and divide by the conjugate of numerator, which is square root of x plus 1 plus square root of 2x plus 1. So I have to multiply and divide by the same term, right? So that is rationalization of the numerator. Now, we also need to rationalize the denominator. So what do we get? We get here square root of 3x plus 4 plus square root of 2x plus 4, right? So this is now we are doing rationalization of denominator. Correct. Now, once you do that, then in the numerator, when I multiply these two terms, we get difference of square. So now it is equivalent to difference of square means we get x plus 1 square square root. That means just x square pl x plus 1 minus we get 2x plus 1. So this is when we multiply these two. And uh, here we are left with this term, which is square root of 3x plus 4 plus square root of 2x plus 4. Correct? Okay. In the denominator, when you rationalize multiplying these two, we'll get difference of square, rationalization of denominator. So we get here 3x plus 4 minus 2x plus 4. And what remains here is square root of x plus 1 plus square root of 2x plus 1. Clear? Now let's simplify this portion. So we get limit x approaches 0. x minus 2x is minus x. 1 minus 1 is 0. 3x minus 2x is x. 4 minus 4 is 0. So we get minus x over x. And this term here is square root of 3x plus 4 plus square root of 2x plus 4 divided by square root of x plus 1 plus square root of 2x plus 1. Now x and x cancel, right? So you get negative 1. So that gives you limit x approaches 0, negative of all this, which is square root of 3x plus 4 
plus square root of 2x plus 4 divide by square root of x plus 1 times plus square root of 2x plus 1. Clear? Now, since we have cancelled these x which were making it an indeterminate, we can now substitute 0 for x and find the limit. So once you substitute 0, we get negative here, and then we have square root of 4 plus square root of 4 over, this gives you square root of 1 plus square root of 1, that is 2 plus 2, right? Or which is 4, and here 1 plus 1 is 2. So we get negative 2 as our answer. So the answer for this question is negative 2. So limit of this particular function is minus 2. Is that clear? So I hope all these steps are well understood. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Once again, thanks for sharing the question, and all the best.